everyone for joining in. Mac is really, really annoying when it comes to getting audio from inside the computer and sharing that. It's really easy on PC. You literally just click share desktop audio and that's it. You've got all the sounds coming out of your computer and into OBS. But Mac does not have that luxury. So you're gonna need to, uh, to hack your way around it. So what you wanna do is get this, download this thing called I show you capture, right? And actually just click I show you capture OBS because it gives you the exact instructions on how to do this. Download it, install it, download installer install it, all right? And then what you need to do is follow these instructions and I'll show you how to do it right now. So you wanna go into audio MIDI setup. So we have our I show you capture and then we also have uh, whatever you are using as your music output, okay? So if we go to Ableton, so if you're using a Focusrite, for example, you would have your output on Ableton set as the Scarlet, so you need that, you need to know what device that is and also the I show you capture. So if we go here into preferences, uh, okay, my output says MacBook Pro speakers, but I'm gonna change that to the Scarlett 2i2. All right, so now what you need to do is go into this MIDI audio setup and create something called a multi-output device. Now what that means is that this device will output to two separate uh, outputs instead of just one. So as you can see here, for example, uh, I can only select one of these, for example. All right. If I go here and I create a multi-output device, now I can choose that it can output to two separate things. So I'm going to output to the Scarlet and I'm also going to output to the I show you capture. And we're going to call this, we're going to rename this I show you and Scarlet. Okay. Now we go to preferences. So I've got I show you and Scarlet, perfect. Now, if I, let's just put something in. All right, you shouldn't, you probably can't hear that right now. That's fine. It's coming out of my speakers, but it's coming out of the Scarlet now. And it's also outputting to this thing called I show you capture. Now what I show you capture is, is like a uh, audio routing device. So if you ever use something called like a Soundflower, it's very similar. This is just a lot simpler to use. So once you have this multi-output device with the I show you capture and also the uh, whatever device you're using in Ableton, all you need to do is go into OBS, create an audio input capture. Okay, so now I'm gonna write I show you. And now you select I show you audio capture, not the, uh, not the one with the Scarlet, just the I show you audio capture. And you should see down here, when I play music, it, pop, it comes up here now as well. So, okay, cool. I always like to, to test it every now and then because sometimes something wrong happens and yet you, you realize you're actually just recording a microphone. But I usually do a clap to see if, uh, if the audio changes, but it's not. So yeah, that's perfect. That's Ableton right there. And now all you need to do is create a uh, video capture. So I usually go window capture, that way it just captures Ableton. Ableton. And we just try and find Ableton live. And uh, yeah, and that's it. Now you've got audio, you can probably turn that down a little bit, it's clipping a bit, so turn that down. And now you can just go into Ableton, do whatever you want, make some music, and uh, just start streaming like you like you would normally. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you uh, see you next time.